Magnificent. I'm on the block. Shoot you with this Glock. I can't lie though, but your mom is really goddamn hot. But anywho, let me tell you what I'm about to do. So, shame on me. Shame on Brandon. Shame on Magnificent. It was me, a kid named Andy, Clark, and we're going to name the female in the story, Bitch. So, this was in the 8th grade, and Bitch was just hyping Andy's head, saying how, like, he was all cute and stuff, like, oh, I like him, oh, blah, 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 you know, just boosting his self-esteem. So then, Andy tells us this, and we're like, oh, hey, lit, you know, feel me facts, and then... The next day came along, and we realized that bitch, she she was like talking about it still, and she was like, oh, I, I just lied just just cuz for no reason. I think she just wanted a joke out of it, even though you know that's my friend. You know, y you don't joke around like that. You over here boosting his self esteem. Now he feels better about himself. But what if he found out that you was lying? Then he's gonna be depressed and sad. So. Me and Clark told bitch, shame on you. That's all we said. We didn't say anything else. We didn't even say your name. We just said, shame on you. And we just went on with our day. And she, she didn't even say anything. She just took it. She was perfectly fine. Well, she was, but she was bugging out after. But anywho, you know, I go on my day. And back in the eighth grade, we had the D.A.R.E. program. So for the people that don't know what D.A.R.E. is, which you kind of already know what dare is dare it talks about drugs a cop comes in they tell you what drugs not to do what how to avoid them how does it affect the body all that other bullshit that people just fucking do now dare is such a waste of fucking time everyone does drugs i don't give a fuck so you know we're in the auditorium and then we're getting to the point where, like, we're at the end of the session, and then we just ask the cop questions. So, bitch, she just kept asking mad questions, talking about, oh, what should you do if you feel like you're being harassed? Oh, and then, like, she just kept egging on the dude, just kept asking just mad goddamn questions just relating to being harassed. I'm, like, I'm, and, like, next to me, I'm looking at Clark, I'm, like, what is this bitch talking about? Like, we look at, we're looking at each other, we're like, so, like, is, is she being serious? Like, everyone's, like, being mad, weird, looking at each other, just whispering shit, all that other shit. So, the cop was like, huh, it seems like you're having a problem. Maybe you can come talk to me after the session. You know what? At first, when I was looking at Clark, I'm like, did I, I didn't even do anything. So, I'm thinking I'm finding everything. So, you know, we go back to class, me and Clark, we had the same 8th grade homeroom teacher, and as we're about to say the prayer, the cop pulls up in our classroom, and he says both of our names, and he said he want to come talk to us. I'm like, in my head, before I left the classroom, I'm like, this is not happening again. This is the second time I'm getting trouble in this stupid-ass school. Why is it fucking happening to me? So, the teacher lets us go. And this cop, he, he pulls up to the stair stairwell right next to um my classroom. And he just let fucking loose, nigga. I'm telling you. This man said, why are you doing this? Why are you harassing this girl? What made you do this? He just kept asking why. He just kept yelling at us and shit. Just, just fucking just talking us down, man. And, like, I just want to hit him so bad. But I couldn't because he's a fucking cop. And I saw him scratch his leg, and, like, I thought he was going to pull out his gun. Clark, Clark thought the same thing, too, and he thought he was going to get shot, but he didn't. So then he, he was like, all right, this is just going to stay between us and the girl. And, like, he was like, oh, and we're not going to tell your parents either. It's just going to be between us, all right? You're going to apologize to her, and then that's the end of it. And before he said all this, he said... If this continues, we're going to start an investigation. I'm like, hey, man, the minute he said if, I'm like, all, all right, I'll, I'll say sorry. Like, I'm, all, like you're, you're already, I'm already here. So, like, what, what else am I supposed to say? Of course, I'm going to say sorry now, fuck face. So then, fucking, we go back into the classroom. And, like, you know, at this point, the bell already rung. We're getting our fucking stuff so we can fucking leave the fucking school. 
people is just fucking asking us mad questions. Oh, what happened? Did you guys get in trouble? What did you guys even do? And like, I, I didn't even fucking say anything, but people were just giving Clark all the comfort in the fucking world. Where the fuck were you people at when I was cracking jokes, where I was eating my lunch, when I needed help on homework, but you bitches just want the information so you can just talk about it later with your dumbass fucking friends? Oh fucking well, eat a dick. So, I hop on my bus, I go home, and like, I'm chilling, because the dude said, we're not gonna tell your parents, so I'm like, good, my mom's not gonna know, great. So... So, when my phone rings, it, like, shows up on the TV as, like, a, the optimum shit. Like, you know, with the little thing, and then it shows the number and the name. So, I see the number, and then I see my school's name. I'm like, this nigga fucking lied. So then, my mom's on the phone my school. She's like, mm-hmm. She's like, yeah. She's like, mm-hmm. I know. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then she hangs up. She starts cursing at me and shit, talking about, oh... Why you keep getting in trouble with Clark? Why are you doing this? Blah, blah, blah. Are you an idiot? Are you stupid? You want to go to boot camp? All this other shit. So, I'm like, listen. All I said was shame on you. And then she said, you got in trouble for that. I know you probably did more than that. I don't know what the fuck the school told her. They probably told her I raped the bitch. Then fucking slit her fucking body into pieces. And like... Dug, dug up some dirt, put the pieces in there, patch up the dirt, and just leave it there. I don't fucking know. So, I'm like, all I said was shame on you, so I don't know why they're taking this still. Like, how is that, like, how is that hara- I have literally cursed people out. Like, I, like, I, I, I'm so speechless. To this day, I have cursed people out, I have punched people, I have kicked people, I have threatened people. And, like, you're going to sit here and tell me that I'm going to go to jail for fucking saying shame on you? Are you fucking serious? So, I go I go on the phone with Clark, all this other stuff. We're just talking about and shit. He's saying, yeah, I yelled at all, blah, blah, blah. And then the next day comes. And Clark and I, we have to apologize to the bitch clearly. And then we was like, all right. This is what we're going to do. We're just going to apologize. We're going to say we're sorry. All this other stuff. Blah, blah, blah. It will never happen ever again. So then we go up to the bitch. And her friends are just around her looking mad as shit. Angry. Her friends are ugly as shit too. I don't give a fuck. Her friends, her friends made my stomach like fucking drop. And then we apologize to the bitch. And like her friends around her. They're like. Oh you got to apologize to us too. I'm like in my head at the time. I'm like. What the fuck did I do to you? Matter of fact, the fuck did I do to this bitch? I shouldn't even be apologizing to this bitch. So then, we, we say sorry to fucking, like, everybody in that friend group. Giving us fucking stare downs of death and shit of a thousand winters. And then, the bitch that we apologized to her. You know what she said? The bitch didn't even say fucking thank you. She said, oh, haha, it's okay. And then just fucking, fucking just ran off. Like, all of the, I could have went to jail. Because of this stupid bitch. But you're lucky I didn't, man. You're lucky. So then, I think I just went on with my day. And then, I think it just got forgot about after that. So then, yeah. Shame on me. Shame on Clark. Shame on Magnificent. On the block. Shoot you with this Glock. Hey, yeah.